Welcome to the Super Fantastic Leadership Web of Show right here on Daphne Tube. This week, we are continuing with David Allen and getting things done. This week, we are talking about the cause for a weekly review and how we resist the energy of getting caught up. It's sort of easier to keep our heads in the sand. Listen to what David tells us about us and our system getting out of date and why our head is a crappy office. And he also talks about how elegant our human consciousness really is. Um, okay, so I want to come back to, now this is a very specific part of your methodology, but I, I, again, from a consciousness perspective, I want to have, I want to talk about this, is this idea of the weekly review. Um, I suspect, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, I suspect this might be a part of the process that people consistently skip. Is that, first of all, is that? Well, by the way, Daphne, I, I actually have been working with a pharmacist. We now have a pill you can take that will automatically <laughs> force you to do the weekly review. You, you, you yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. And and no, you're right. It's one of the toughest things to realize. Wait a minute, I need to catch up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I need to, I need to pull up the rear guard. Yeah. Right. And most people get so wrapped around the axle that they don't have time to pull up the rear guard, and then they just stay wrapped around the axle until the axle ain't moving anymore because the wire is too tight. Yes. Right. So recognizing when you're off recognizing when, wait a minute, I need to catch up because I'm not as clear as I need to be. I've got things that are bugging me that shouldn't be bugging me. Let me get this under control. And that's what the weekly review does. And so, yes, when you do a weekly, especially when you, once you understand at least cognitively the getting things done methodology, that um, if you do the weekly review, you'll stay on and it will grow and expand and get more elegant. If you don't, you'll fall off the wagon pretty fast. Yeah. Because what happens is that your system becomes out of date. When your system is out of date, then your brain doesn't trust the system. And so your brain says it's too much trouble to try to input into the system since it's incomplete anyway. And you go back to using your head as your office and your head's a crappy office. And so <laughs> that, that's, I mean, that, that's it. Yeah. And, and the problem is that when you have half your life in your head and half your life in some sort of a system, you don't trust either one. Mm. And, and any one thing... Another thing I, I really recognized over the last you know, couple of years is you can have just one thing out of control where you haven't applied the outcome and action thinking to it and systematizing you know, the result. One thing can discolor your whole life. Wow. And so one thing, a problem with your elder care, with your a parent, a problem with the bank, a problem with a key senior person you hired, you're paying a lot more money than you should have. You know, those kind of things, if you haven't handled what am I trying to accomplish, what's the very next action on that, and how do you put that in a trusted system so that you're appropriately engaged with it, that that will discolor your whole life. That's why a lot of people feel so overwhelmed. It's not it's not overwhelmed about everything. It's overwhelmed about two or three things, oh, yeah. you know, that they haven't dealt with appropriately. And then it makes everything feel like, you know, everything's a bitch. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, I, self included. I'll go into the total. Everything's a catastrophe now, right? When I think that's really that again. This is some of the wisdom that when we dial in on what's the one decision I haven't made, what's the one thing, or it could be two things or three, but what's the thing that really is is gnawing at me that I haven't handled? Yeah, yeah. No, you, you got it. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. Uh, so the weekly review, I think, is the one part. You know, I I'm curious. How, you know, when people sit down to do that, have you had the experience with people, they don't even want to look at the amount of stuff sure. they have coming at them. Yeah, it just feels sure. completely overwhelming. Yeah. Sure. It yeah. always is. Yeah, it is. Uh, for, for, for any and everybody. I mean, it, yeah, it's a strange paradox that, you know, the elegance of the human consciousness is how creative we are and can be. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the, the downside is then, you know, what you put yourself through because of that. Yes. You know? And it's the stress of, it really is the stress of opportunity. Mm. And most of the people I coach now and, and work with personally, that's their issue. I mean, the people most attracted to what I do are the people who least need it. They're the most productive, positive, aspirational people to begin with. They just have the stress of opportunity. And they just feel like, God, they, they're, they're so overwhelmed with all of their own opportunities and possibilities. That's why in a way, you know, I did a TEDx talk on this, and that you relax in a crisis. Because it limits all your options. Okay. Right. So. That's brilliant. <laughs> well, you know, 
there, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the book. You're, you're making me think of this now. Um, there's this book, The Paradox of Choice by Barry Schwartz. Are you familiar with yeah. that? Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah, and uh, you're yeah. really pointing to that, that as you know, we step into more of our creativity, we start to see a lot of possibilities. We start to see all of the things that can be created. And how do we mindfully, I guess mindfully tunnel, right? Mindfully limit our choices, or do we need to? You know, can, what, what can we handle, um, and how much can we handle at any one time? Well, that comes back to the horizons. Yeah, okay. You know, it's, it's absolutely fine to wander around your garden or your yard all of Saturday and Sunday and just do whatever the what you feel like doing because that was fun, and that's a cool thing. And that, you guys, you, that's not a stress of opportunity. That's the fun of opportunity. Yeah. Right? yeah. It's, it, it all depends on whether you should feel like you should have created your spring garden by the end of Sunday afternoon or not. <laughs> <laughs> right, or whether you're going, you know, if it shows up, it shows up, but if not, it's fine. So a lot of it has a lot to do with just your style, and what are those horizons called? What really matters to you? Yeah. How 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 important is is relaxed, happy, fun to you? Yeah. So this is where this all starts again. You know, I, I I'm really appreciating where this all starts to come full circle. You can't really disconnect the pieces. You know, to learn it, we learn it linearly, but it really doesn't function that way. Yeah. True. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when we look at our lives, it's true, right? We aren't overwhelmed by everything. We feel overwhelmed by one or two things. And looking at the amount of our stuff can be helpful. It is the stress and the fun of opportunity. If you would like to know more about David Allen, go to the link below and also get his latest version of Getting Things Done. Stay tuned in the coming weeks for more great conversation with David Allen right here on the Super Fantastic Leadership Web Show. Until next week, keep living a super fantastic leadership life. Hey, if you like what you just watched, you can go ahead and subscribe below because then it's not so much effort, right? You're not going to be Google searching me or looking for me on YouTube. The content's just going to come right into your channel. It's going to say, hey, there's a new video from Daphne Scott. Actually, it'll say DS Leadership Life, but nevertheless, it's going to tell you that there's a new video available. And maybe you also like to read. If that's the case, give us a follow on Facebook at DS Leadership Life for more amazing content. Nevertheless, you can stay tuned here right on my YouTube channel for weekly videos and more of my amazing sense of humor. See you soon.